This is a Road Trek 170 popular. The smallest in the Road Trek series at 17 feet bumper to bumper. You could park this in any conventional parking space. Let's take a little tour. Double doors access on this side. There's two captain seats up front, seat belts for two and back. There was a third seat here, but it had been removed. Makes it a lot easier to access this unit. In the place of that seat is a little table that's mounted to the wall, can be raised and lowered there. One of the four safety features in here is the fire extinguisher. Step up into the unit. In front of the unit there, there's the package with all the user manuals from Road Trek, which installed um, the the coach on this uh, Dodge 3500 van. Two captain chairs in great shape. Dash in great shape. AM, FM, CD, and cassette player. You can see the unit chart starts right up. Runs great. Turn that off. We go over here, we can see that the unit has 53,822 miles on it right now. See the unit has power door locks, power windows, and has an alarm system. See the dash is in great shape here. A lot of storage in this road deck. Here's a little storage right above for valuables or anything you want to store in there. Two side rails that have storage. The other safety feature is the uh, smoke detector, some storage there. It's an armoire, and right now it is being used as storage. But you can see there's a hook set there. If you want to hang clothes in here, you simply remove these three shelves. Right now, we're just using it as storage unit. There's a furnace, a thermostat controlled furnace, keep you toasty warm at night. One of three electrical outlets there. These two caption chairs will spin back to face the house when you're enjoying the back of the unit. There's one of the two tables mounted right here. This table swings out into place when the chairs are backwards. You have a, a table right f facing a table able to use right here. Storage rail there is where I keep my flashlights and other items I need handy. Rear dinette. Again, seat belts for two. That dinette table would be lowered into place here. The cushion's repositioned and you'd have a unit for sleeping here for two. We have here the two burner stove, sink, van vent and light, van vent, fan vent and light. Some storage here, storage above the sink. Some little storage here. There's not a microwave in this unit. Here is the dramatic three-way refrigerator. It runs off propane, battery, and electricity. We've got two drawers here for storage. And below here we have a little larger storage for kitchen supplies, miscellaneous supplies, and there's a little six-gallon holding tank for hot water. When that's heated up, you have hot water for the shower and the sink. That's the little power switch right there. To turn on the hot water heater in a few minutes you have warm water and a few four minutes you'll have hot water. Again more storage back here in this unit. Here, here, my backpack in there it does not go with the unit. Deep storage, plenty of storage there. We have here the air conditioner for the back of the unit. The air conditioner of course in the engine for the front of the unit. Um, this is controlled by either running on generator or when you're connected to shore electricity. It doesn't run off the battery. We have additional storage here where you could mount a TV or something else. This shelf pulls out and then this shelf will slide out. Here is in the back of this two 12 volt units so you can plug in a 12 volt TV or any uh, units you want to power off a 12 volt setting. There's the second of three electrical outlets. And we have here our bathroom and shower. There's the toilet, and that shelf would be taken out, and you've got your shower here. The way this shower would work is the shower curtain in there would be pulled out and run on this rail around here. 
and then there's a, a, a drain in the floor. Never used it. It looks like it'd be pretty tight, but there is a shower if you want to take a shower in here. This is your um, battery operated, or this is your fan, thermostat controlled fan. Used to ventilate the shower or ventilate the unit because it is thermostat controlled there. If you wanted to try to control the temperature in the back of the van when you're in it or when you're not in it, so it's cool when you return. Three speed thermostat controlled fan. This is the power control center here. There's the generator switch. Starts right up. Generator. You need the generator to run the air conditioner and if you want to power the unit or recharge your battery uh, for the house. Turn that off. This is a little switch for light outside. And this is your control panel here. Turn it off and turn it on. It powers anything that's going to run off the battery. This is your test switch. Shows your LPG status, your fresh holding gray tank. The fresh is your fresh water tank. Holding tank is your black water for, from your uh, toilet. And the gray would be your water from your sink or shower. And the status of the battery in the back. There's two batteries in this unit. The battery on the engine and one battery for the house in the back. There's an isolator that separates them and protects the front battery. Even if you left your lights on and everything running in the back, you could never run your engine battery dead because it's not connected to the uh, house unit. Other safety features in here are a little LPG protector, a detector. Here is a carbon monoxide protector. Again, the furnace for this unit is thermostat controlled, and there's the thermostat for that unit. We'll take a little look on the outside. A couple of little cup holders here. This van and the door. Again, this unit is on a Dodge 3500 van. So one ton, so you can tow this package, and it has a tow package. The body here is in great shape. Let's see, that's a Dodge. This unit also has a second hitch receiver here. I use it to carry my bike rack, but you can back your boat into the water or your trailer, so you can see where you're going by doing it straight rather than backing up. The side of the unit here, tires are near new, only have a few thousand miles on them. Side body here, it's in good shape. I'll show you a few features on this side. This is the gasoline gas tank, which runs both the gas and a generator. So you always have fresh gas for your generator. There's not a separate tank for the generator. This is where you would fill your LPG. We have, if you open the door here, your fresh water. That's where you'd fill your water by being behind the locked door. Nobody can mess with your water system. These units here would be locked when they're when you're driving. This is the access door to the sewage dump and the gray water tank. This larger storage unit here is got your dump hose, water, fresh water hose, electrical connection, and your outside shower if you want to shower off your kids or your sandy feet. It's got the connection. If you were using this off the direct city water, you'd run your, your hose in through there, connect it there, and that switch there, given those directions, is where, how you would set it. Right now it's in place to use the pump, meaning the water is being run off the storage tank on the unit. If you wanted to run it directly from city water, you'd change the direction of that valve there. This is your Continental Tire Kit. There's your spare tire. It does have a lock on the bottom. Locked it secure in place. Your rear trailer hitch and electrical connection. This is one main door, one big door here to access the back. Plenty of storage underneath here. Here's your jack for your spare tire. And underneath here is where the battery is that, that runs the house, the coach part of the, of the RV. If you wanted to put large items in here, you can push these seat cushions out of the way. And this wood piece is actually hinged. It would lay down flat. And then you'd have access to put larger items here if you wanted to take the table out of the way, put bigger items in storage. It's easy access if you drop that board there. 
The 170 is in great shape. The body is in great shape. The only scratch on it is this scratch here on the fiberglass behind the rear tire. And there is a scrape in the fiberglass above the rear tire, in front of the rear tire. It might be buffed out. And that's, uh, that's the condition. The outside, great shape except for those two minor mars. Inside, you can see, is in like new position, new condition for a 1998 unit. Notice the Naga hide or vinyl roof white is clean, no scratches, mars. It's just in great shape. So there you have it, the Road Trek 170, 1998. If you're interested, give us a call.